What is going on today, crypto traders, investors, and enthusiasts? Hello, good morning. How are you? Happy Sunday. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day with some gains. Um, looks like Bitcoin. Bitcoin. It's uh, it's doing something interesting here. Doing something interesting. So we're gonna do an update on Bitcoin, of course, because we we're doing updates on Bitcoin every day because all of our altcoin trades solely depend on Bitcoin right now. So. Uh, we're going to go into Bitcoin. We're going to go into GMT, Steppin. And then you know what? We're going to look at KDA Cadena as well. Because I'm not going to lie. I believe in the project. So anyways, let's go ahead. Let's dive right on into the TA. Also, make sure you hit the like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe. Leave a comment on any crypto that you want me to do some TA on. Would love to hear your ideas or your projects you want me to look at. Anyways, let's go. All right, so looking at Bitcoin on the daily, we are still in this giant falling wedge pattern. It has not been unconfirmed. Um, we're, we're still kind of wondering if this was our capitulation wick and now we're making a recovery up uh, or not. We also have been getting held down with this resistance right here. If the whales feel it they can make this thing go all the way up here to 32,900 all we have to do is break this resistance but on the daily we're still severely oversold uh, our 20 EMA is sitting up here at 34,000 so I do believe we we have a possibility of rallying again today now on the four hour though four hours painting a little weird picture you see the stochastic scar size says we're losing strength we're sitting up here at the very top tip top Anyways, uh, we have one hour left to close this candle, but it looks fine. We're, we're right now bouncing off the 20 EMA, and we're holding. So as long as that holds, I feel pretty good about it. And uh, not to mention the relative strength index, tons of room to run to the upside. Absolute tons of room. So that is positive. So I believe we're either going to trade sideways, possible back test of this level at 29,365, or we actually go up. So uh, either way, what does that mean for altcoins? Altcoins are looking pretty solid then. If Bitcoin isn't going to take a dump all the way back down to this lower trend line and hit like 26,455, as long as it doesn't do that, we're solid. Those of you trying to trade Bitcoin right now, um, let's go ahead and go to a lower time frame. Looking at the one hour, it does look like you want to come down slightly. So if you wanted to put a short in, your short level was up here on the resistance. So you're, you're shorting the resistances, but I don't think it's going to be very long lived considering you are starting to put in a supply line now. And it looks like you're right on it. So yeah, you're right on it. So i wouldn't think that a short right now would be advisable until you break below twenty nine thousand seven hundred um taking a long out probably a much better option in my opinion but uh yeah if we do see a break to the upside you're looking at possible seven percent gains to the upside looking at thirty two thousand four hundred and uh yeah that could play out later today oddly enough and then, of course, tomorrow, I expect a pullback. But anyways, that's what I see out of Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I'm pretty bullish on it right now. Uh, we could backtest this little supply line. Whales could be stop loss hunting. So we could even drop as low as 29,500 and then start to see a rise again. So keep that in mind. All right, just keep that in mind. What you're looking for is a confirmed break to the downside, backtest this level as resistance, or a break to the upside, backtest this level as support. Okay, that's what we're looking for in order to be safer on these trades. So don't go crazy with the leverage, people. Don't go crazy with the leverage. Anyways, um, now let's go ahead and jump into KDA Cadena because I, I actually really like this project. I do. You can see it's it's been doing very well. Uh, we're on the one hour chart we should not be we're going to the daily so on the daily you can see Kadena has made a strong recovery got back tested right on that 20 EMA now it's rejecting off looking like it could possibly back test this level at two dollars fifty four cents that would be the area you would be thinking of buying um, let's go ahead and check the four hour four hour is falling over a little bit so yeah, you could expect that little pullback, which is fine. 
Also, I mean, anything at these levels, accumulation zone, so it, it doesn't matter. Your dollar cost averaging right now. Anyways, also, I don't know any exchange that you can trade this on leverage. Just saying. But, uh, looks like for the next few hours, could be consolidating. However, let's go ahead and take a look at this consolidation pattern, see if we made our measured move or not. But you can see we did put in this nice little consolidation here. Very nice consolidation. We had a bull flag or a bull pennant, whatever you want to call it. That was a 64% gain, by the way. That's crazy. Move it to the top. We did get a full measured move, even a little extra. So that's good. So, yes, I would see a back test at 254. Hold this level. Great time to buy. And then expect another rise up. Your next level of resistance all the way up here, $5.41. That's no joke. That is no joke. 113% over time. Not a bad situation. So, KDA Cadena looking awesome. It is uh, nearly a 13x. Uh, let me see. From where it's sitting at this very moment, you are an, a nearly 9x from your all-time high. So, KDA Cadena looking pretty darn solid. So, that's KDA Cadena. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at GMT stepping because GMT looking pretty pretty neat pretty neat now we're on the four hour time frame four hour does look like it's trying to curve down the nice thing though you're putting in this beautiful supply line so if you break the supply line you can put a short in you're expecting 37 percent downside if we hold that supply line which if bitcoin's not going to roll over and die i think gmt stepping might be able to find some some rally juice in here because your upside potential is 81 percent going back up here to $2.74. The nice thing about where GMT Stefan is sitting is you can have a very good stop loss if you're trying to take this long. And then if you get stopped out, throw the short in. Honestly, that's how I would play it. I, you guys can do your own method, but that's how I like to play these. Uh, it's currently down 5.39%. You can see on the one hour, Stochastic RSI is coming to the bottom while you're trading sideways that's pretty darn bullish in my eyes you can also see bullish divergence right here bullish divergence negative momentum is not building which noted this can all change if bitcoin decides to roll over so keep that in mind as well but you can also see you are starting to get a little bit higher levels of positive momentum that is good that is very good so I believe GMT step in might be gearing up for another rally. We will see. The only thing that worries me a little bit is the fact that we are falling below our 20 EMA. So just remember that stop loss is going to be right down here sitting at $1.35. So keep that stop loss there. If you do notice you fall below back test as resistance, put the short in, enjoy your 37% where they would be trying to find a double bottom. All right. That is the TA for today. Hopefully this helped you out, and hopefully your trades are going well. If you could do me a huge favor, hit the like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, and get notified every time I go live because every one of these videos are time sensitive. Anyways, I'm out of here. I will see you later or tomorrow, and uh, take it easy. Deuces.